What's up, babies? It's Maya, aka Luna, and this is The Makings of a Diva, episode one of my Diva Diaries series that I'm going to be starting for this channel. The Diva Diaries will be not just vlogs or get ready with me's. It will be each step of my life that brings me joy, fear, happiness, stress, anxiety, any emotion I could possibly feel that I would write down or jot down into a diary will be filmed here. I am currently juggling three jobs while attempting to make music, put on shows, lose weight, and so many other things that I think I want to bring y'all on the journey for. I am currently in my 20s. Let's just say I'm timeless. I will never give my exact age ever again. Not that I'm ashamed of my age, but people put way too much pressure and stress on a number. I will not give myself that stress. I am in the process of making more music currently. I found a studio in DC that I love. And hopefully soon I can get back in and bring you guys with me. So you can see my process as I write songs, record, and sing, of course. I have quite a few goals I would like to be able to achieve before let's say before I'm 40. I would like to play either Suge Avery or Seeley in the Broadway production of The Color Purple. I would 100% love to be Elphaba and Wicked. Adina Menzel is one of those people who actually taught me how to sing. But she and a long list of other people. My mother in music is actually Beyonce. I realized I could actually sing while singing Dangerously in Love in elementary school. I think that was the first competition I ever won. I used to be in singing competitions. I used to be in school choirs. I went to a military high school. It, it was a it was my neighborhood high school, but I went to a military high school and I would always sing for the military balls. I would find little places I could sing around my area, the DMV. I was born in Washington, DC, but grew up in Maryland. But back onto the topic of Broadway, I would love to, I'd love to be in waitress at least one time. I would love to be Angelica Schuyler in a production of Hamilton if I could one day. And although Broadway does have my heart and soul, making, recording, and performance of my own music, that is where my essence lies. That is where you will see 100% of me, my most vulnerable self, the part of me that even if I'm overthinking myself that day, I feel free. The stage is where my heart flourishes and blossoms. And I I can never do just karaoke. I need more. I need to feel the energy of the audience. I need to know that the words that I'm singing that I have written down is reaching the masses. I want to know I reached your heart. Even if it's a song that has no real meaning. If it's just dancing, I want to feel you dance. I want to feel the rhythm coming from your feet, vibrating through my body. That is why I love music so much. Honestly, if I wasn't a singer, I think I would just be doing beauty, makeup and hair, filming for y'all. That's all I think I'd ever want to do in my life. I've always been a creative. I will always be a creative. If I can't sing for you on a stage, I'm gonna choose somebody else too. 
I'll become a vocal coach and someone else will learn how to sing, dance, act, love performance, love to give a show. A lot of my heroes, a lot of my heroes give a show. I don't idolize anyone. We're all human at the end of the day. Everybody eats, everybody uses the bathroom, everybody breathes. But a work ethic, that, that's how you become a hero. Some of my, some of my biggest heroes are Beyonce, Diana Ross, Aretha Franklin, Whitney Houston, Mariah Carey, Ariana Grande, funny enough, we're not going to talk much about drama. Chloe and Hallie, my goal one day is to sing with them. Their two-part harmony is beautiful, but I feel like I could add something beautiful to their mix. I would love to sing for Beyonce. I don't want to I don't want to just sing with Beyonce. I would like to sing for Beyonce. She's always giving us a show. She's always putting her all into it. Rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Who really gives Beyonce a show? Who takes their time and wanting to make sure that everything is perfect for her? I would like to give that back to her. Musically, I consider her my mom. As a young kid, while she was still in Destiny's Child, I'm not. St I'm still not telling you when I was born, but she was in Destiny's Child relatively early around the time I was born. She and Kelly, their days in Destiny's Child and their solo efforts, Nichelle too, but mainly when I was growing up, they were still a four-part trio. So this was before Michelle came into the picture. I emulated them. I would dance. I would sing. I would hit a riff and a run. And now I can run around circles, standing still. Love to see it. <laughs> but I think musically, Beyonce is my mother in music. Hearing her tone, seeing her drive, seeing her just be her. That, I think that sparked something in my heart. Honestly, I was going to quit. Until I saw Renaissance. I don't know what it was. It was just, it was a concert movie. It was her telling us the makings of developing a concert giving a show and not caring something about that struck home for me i have always been known to be a serial self-sabotager always afraid of what someone might think of me or caring too much about how i look and not about how i sound how I sound is very important to me. But my look has always plagued me since I was a child. I've always been thicker, a little heavier set. And I've never felt comfortable in my own skin. And I know diet, exercise, things like that. It's not always that easy. You can diet, you can exercise, and sometimes your body still won't do what you want it to. Because your body is not an object. It's where you live. So as long as you keep your house clean, it should do what you would like it to, but it's not always gonna be perfect. And I've accepted the fact that as a human, I will never be perfect. I will always have a flaw there will always be a freckle, a mole out of place. And that's okay. I have learned to embrace it and love it. But after seeing Renaissance, the sadness 
that was developing in my heart that I was going to let take over dissipated. I decided that I'm going to give it my all. I'm going to reach for the stars, climb to the moon. And if I crash and burn, maybe I'll land in the sun. You can call me Kid Icarus if you would like. But I want to soar. <laughs> all of that to say, this channel will hopefully be an inspiration and influence to someone out there who wants to follow their dreams, who may always hear no, 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 who might always think that they're not pretty enough, who might think that something about their body holds them back. Nothing is holding you back, baby. Do what you want to do. Do what makes you happy. And if it makes somebody upset to see you happy, then why do you want them around? What purpose do they serve in your life? Don't let them have that much power over you. You have your own power. Live in it. Love it. Because some people will just be spiteful and angry and mean. Just for the heck of it. Just to see somebody else feel as bad about themselves as they do. A rule I now live by is the only reason somebody talks about you is there's nothing interesting about themselves to talk about. So they'll find something to nitpick you at. Be it your weight, be it the way you dress, be it the way your hair looks they're gonna find something so learn to love what you have because you only get one body you don't get another so love it love each curve each roll each little itty bitty piece and thank your body for helping you move helping you be and the next time someone gets in your face and tries to tell you something about you, don't stoop to their level, but you know, you can, you can, you can give it a little giggle and just, you know, just be like, oh, nice shoes, nice hair, nice forehead. Um, <laughs> anyway. I guess I should explain what makes a diva. Yeah? I mean, if this episode is called The Makings of a Diva anyway, so. What makes a diva isn't necessarily one thing. Beyonce said to herself, a diva is a female version of a hustler. Well, it's, it's the hustle. It's the grind. It's the hard work you put into it. It's the effort. It's the show. A diva tends to be more maximalist. They don't just think about the here and now. They think about tomorrow. They think about where they're going to be in 30 years. Who they're going to be in 30 years. Who will remember them after they're gone. Maybe this is too overzealous for me to think. But I would like... I would like to be known. I would like someone to see me and the hard work and effort I put into this world and carry that with them for the rest of their lives. You live on through the people you leave behind. I wanna live for as long as I can. So to be a diva, you can't just necessarily do something. A diva's not always a singer a diva is not always a performer a diva just is it's in your being it's in the way you walk the way you talk the way you dress the way you carry yourself a diva is in your confidence you can be a diva on stage you could be a diva at work you can be a diva at home not to say you have to be mean but you can be assertive you can put your foot down 
and say, this is how I want it. This is how it's going to be. That makes you a diva for standing on business. When you stand on business, that makes you a diva. Point blank, period. One of the greatest depictions of a diva is Aretha Franklin. She was telling them people she wanted her money before she performed her sets in cold, hard cash because they were playing with her money. And what's one thing you do not do is you don't play with the diva's money. You don't play with the bag. You don't play with her cash. You don't even play in her face because she'll write you up real quick and send you off to Cinder. Send you back to Cinder? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> But to be a diva, it's it's in you. Everybody has a little diva in them. It's up to you to bring it out. You don't have to be a cruel and cold-hearted person. But be a boss in your own right. You can be a man and be a diva. You can be a woman and be a diva. You can be anything in between and be a diva. You just have to own it love it live it you have to be comfortable in your own skin love your body love your mind love your heart love your soul and be willing to give that to other people a diva shows who they are regardless of what anybody else thinks at this point in my life i've realized i have never cared about what somebody else has to say about me. If I fall, I'm the first one laughing. I'm gonna get back up. But you catch me on the floor giggling. It has happened one too many times. Learn to laugh at yourself a little bit. Don't take life so seriously. Take your craft seriously. But if every single day is spent worrying about what someone else is doing, you're not living your life, you're living theirs. You're not even doing that well. The only person you can live for is you. So be strong, be resilient, be confident, and be yourself. To talk a little bit about, to talk a little bit about the music that I like to make, I make almost everything. Or at least I tried to. I'm heavily influenced by pop music and R&B. I love jazz. I love soul, neo soul, rock, punk rock, metal, hip hop, rap. You name it. I most likely have something of it in my playlist. Some of my top artists recently have been Doja Cat. Megan the Stallion, of course, I love my girls. Meg, if you're if you're ever listening to this, send me some tour tickets. I wanna go. Please. You can be the stallion. I'll be a pony. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I also am into the beauty sphere. One of my 5011 jobs, as I call it. I work at Sephora. I sell you the makeup makeups and fight with the children over the junk elephant. <laughs> I love hair and makeup. I love to beat a face. Preferably my own. Nine times out of ten, I'm not beating somebody else's face. I just, something about, I don't want to. So my canvas is my face. However, I can tell you what to do. If you have comments or questions, leave it in the comment section and I'll probably answer. And y'all can also follow me on TikTok. Everything will be linked down below. Definitely just like, you know, hit me up on TikTok, Instagram. Even if you just want a friend, someone to talk to, I respond. So hit me. So hit me up and let's be besties because the prettiest thing a girl can do 
a pretty the prettiest thing anyone can do male female or anything in between the prettiest thing you can do listen to me is be a friend be a real friend don't be a fake friend don't just do it because i'm telling you to do it because you genuinely care about people that is the time when you are the most beautiful pretty is in your essence pretty is in how you treat people you can have a gorgeous face like you could be smoking you have the best body ever but your personality and that attitude ooh, baby that that can make you ugly real quick real quick so rather than being ugly don't be a little ugly be cutie and make a friend if someone in the comments has a question, be kind. Make a friend in the comments section. I would like to see it. I would like to see it. <laughs> I also am big on skin care. So make sure you're taking care of yourselves, please. Times are hard. Wars are being waged and funded by things I can't talk about. But just know I stand with all those in need and the babies that have lost their lives because of foolishness. All those involved should be ashamed of themselves. That's all I gotta say. Well, we have come to the part of the video where I am shamelessly posing now for you. This is a cute little no thing I did to, you know, watch TV on the couch. Because when I'm not working, I ain't going nowhere. I'm trying to get out of the house more. But, you know. I also love to finish off any makeup look that I have with a fragrance. My signature fragrance currently has been 68 from Sol de Janeiro for my lotion, body wash, and clothes and hairspray. And then for my skin, I have been loving the brand new Kayali Lychee Fragrance and Good Girl Blush. The three of those mixed together. When I tell you, baby, walking down the street, people will be trying to snatch you up. User be wary. I can also give you a fragrance haul as well. Good night, babies. Mwah. Diaries of a Diva, episode one, making up.